When you're done with work by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, yeah. you should take a break. And go for a massage. Yes. Which kind? <laughs> I'm here for an in, in, in interview. I'm Pat, yes. the founder of Good Stuff. Hi. Uh, this is Nina, the managing director of Good Stuff. Maybe can you tell me how did Good Stuff get started? It really started because uh, my dad was diagnosed with a brain tumour. Mm. We have to pay the bills, uh, so mm. go independent. And here we are today, mm. 12 years ago. But why not join existing agencies? I did the math and yeah. to maintain my lifestyle mm. and to support a tumour, uh, I needed to triple my pay. I made some flyers to, to, to market myself. I, I actually like that you have enough taste you didn't use Calibri yet. I use lobster. So it's... <laughs> Still better, it's not default. Because you see that in toilets. Mm -hmm. You know, your office manager mm -hmm. telling you to flush is in Calibri. Mm. When was this done? Last night. How old are you? Um, what software do you use to do this? 2015 Photoshop. You bought it? Or fake one? Uh, next question. Um, <laughs> uh, I see you have the, the quirky specs and the coloured hair. Is it a common theme in advertising people? I think the most cliche thing is mm. uh, specs. For me, it's vanity. Mm. My eyes are too far apart. Can there ever be work-life balance in advertising? I think in advertising, it's not a time-based kind of work. Mm. It's actually more of like a results-based kind of work. So with that, you get to control the kind of time that you want to spend at work itself. Mm. But that also means you need a lot of self-awareness. If you're done with work by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, yeah. you should take a break. And go for a massage? Yes. Which kind? <laughs> Do you have any tips for people who want to join? So we have this one interview question that we ask yeah. all our interviewees. Mm. You are a baker and your partner is in jail. You realise there's a loophole where anything that you bake goes through without checks. With the objective of getting your partner out of jail, what will you put in what you bake? He has one minute to answer yeah, this, this is serious. Okay. What, what kind of bread can I bring in? Like okay. sourdough? The big sourdough? <laughs> um, <sighs> a razor. So that they can... Uh, slowly dig a hole in the wall. I think it will take longer than a jail sentence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you think about being as famous or more famous as your company? Uh, I won't discount that. I am very much associated mm. with the brand. I have to be careful mm. of, of what I say. Mm. But half the time, I don't really... Mm. About social media, have you ever thought about just hiring influencers? Like, why go to all this effort to create good work when you can just hire someone to pose with a can drink. It depends on what you need the influence support. Mm. Uh, and real influence are not measured by followers. Mm. How do you think social media will change in the next few years? Uh, when it comes to being social, mm. whatever content that you see, it mm. makes you think, it makes you feel, it mm. makes you engage. Mm. When it comes to media, mm. it is a platform, it is a community. If I tell you a joke that you like and you share it, then I have created a social currency. So social media, in essence, is about creating value exchange. It's about creating social currencies. Mm. So as for the future of social media, uh, it really doesn't matter. Mm. Because what you're talking about is probably about the technology. Mm. Like, where next, right? After mm. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. That is format and technology. Right. It is not the content. So the content still stays the same? Uh, no, the content still matters the most. The, the, the medium is the massage. Massage? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to look at the office. Sure. Maybe I need you back. Okay. Can. Bye-bye. Can you tell me your name and what you do here? Uh, I'm Bernice. I'm a social strategist here at Good Stuff. Um, Denise, we have a new segment mm. called Can You Show Me The Office? Okay. So this is our pantry. Yes. So as you can see, we are fully stocked on alcohol and of course coffee. Actually, I don't in see a, the coffee. <laughs> it's a coffee machine. I the... Of course, our glorious collection. So this is our office cat, Mao. Mm. This is her own quiet corner. Usually on the time before COVID, she also like hangs out in the office with everybody and she stays here. So this is the pantry where we eat our famous ball pit. Some of our smaller meeting areas, Ted's vintage collections. This is actually one of our biggest meeting rooms mm. and it's called Tian An Men. 
So in what? Tiananmen. I don't know what you're talking about. I never uh, heard of that before. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. This is basically our award wall. Cut a number lah, not that I want to say. Sure. Uh, <laughs> it even spills to a reception if you want to see later. But yeah, basically sure. it's our award wall. Why you win so many uh, MTV awards? MTV awards? <laughs> That's not MTV lah, that is... Marky. So this mm. is Pet Law's office. As you can see, again, the theme of hyper-localization is very clear. And the collection, even this painting uh, is... <laughs> this is Lee Kuan Yew. <laughs> Young Lee Kuan Yew and his wife. Mm. Okay, cut that off. So this is the studio. This is our smoking area. This is our reception. This is basically, you know, if you're a bit nervous to talk to Pet, you can practice here first. Lah. Sometimes also we use this, right, to ward off like any... Ghost. Yeah, like bad juju, you know. What the f... <laughs> Um, so I'm the account director at Good Stuff. What do you think about Good Stuff's name? Because all the other agencies have cool names like ABC and D D D B. You know. I mean, I used to wonder like why didn't they just like use the right spelling lah? S T U. You think it's cheesy? No, no, no. It's not cheesy. It provides character. My name is Hazwan. Mm -hmm. I'm a copywriter. What is your favorite word? Uh, OnlyFans. Do you have OnlyFans? I don't. Do you want to? Uh, maybe I don't know. I need to clear it with Pet first. I'm definitely I'm an associate creative director here. You don't get the pet. <laughs> uh, accidental coincidence. Does it help your progression here if you have the same hair color as well? It might be the opposite, I think. <laughs> What's the meaning of that sign? 今天不回家, which means today don't go home. It's an ironic tongue in cheek thing. I think mm. if we really believed that, it wouldn't be on our wall. Do you ever stay overnight in the office before? No. Like... I've heard there's a ghost by our printer and by the guy's toilet. I haven't seen it, I only felt it. Which which part do you feel it the ghost or? Uh heard it lah. Ah. So morning. if I'm alone in the office, he will tell me to go home. You I sure claim. it's not, 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 not pet under the table? Oh no 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 no. This is Stewie. The office dog? It uh, belongs to Bernice, but when Bernice is in, he comes along with her. How do you stay creative? Exposing yourself to things that are not advertising. Watch a lot of content. Mm. Podcast. Don't feel like you need to do advertising mm. to do advertising. Because I wasn't like copywriter trained. Mm. So my experience comes from finding inspiration from anything else. Mm. What do you think makes good stuff stand up for the other creative agencies? The company culture is around the character of the people. Mm. So it's just more inward looking versus just focused on the output. For me, because I get to work on projects that's not only just Mm. for clients, right? Right now we're working on an internal project to kind of like celebrate Ramadan and Hari Raya. We have this uh, pitch night mm. where basically the creators can come up with merchandising ideas. So what have you suggested? I am not taking part. Do not more as creative. So you need to watch more podcasts and read more podcasts, uh, listen to more podcasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can there ever be work-life balance in advertising? Definitely. A lot better these years compared to when I started out maybe 10 plus years ago, I guess. Yeah. Credit to the younger generation also mm. for knowing that they want things differently. How is it like when it gets busy during campaign period? I would say it's actually an exciting time. Mm -hmm. There's a sense of camaraderie when mm. we are all working on a pitch together. Mm. It's what makes agency life fun. La. You all cry together also? No. Is it usually this quiet? Uh, no. It's not. Why? Because uh? it's not a lot of people. Can you ask the ghost to come or something? Like, fill in the space? No, you can't ask the ghost to come. It will come and it has to come. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Is it gonna jump? <laughs> Do you have any last questions? Do you think I fit in good stuff? Um, based on that flyer, mm. I would work on your sense of balance in the layout. Mm. But I have to say you disappointed me in your, your reply for the one minute question. Ah. That was very cookie cutter. Ah. And you drew a reference from a movie. Isn't that good? No, that's copying. Hey, cheers, man. Meow.